In the last video, we created the geometry for this gym model. And in this video, we will be applying the joints and the motions to this model. Okay, first, let's create the joints. If you go to the connectors tab, uh, you can see all the joints is listed under this joint section. And uh, those joints include the fixed joint, the revolute joint, translational joint, cylindrical joint, and uh, spherical joint. Also, we have the planar joint, the screw joint, the hook joint, and also the constant velocity joint. Today, we will be using the revolute joint and also the spherical joint. Okay, first, we need to create a revolute joint between the ground and the upper body so that the upper body can rotate along the y-axis. We can click the revolute joint and we will choose the pick geometry feature two bodies one location and uh, the first body we pick is the upper body and second body we pick is the ground. The location we choose is here in the upper body marker 11 and the the direction we choose is the y direction so that's how the revolute joint is created and uh, we will need to rename this joint as the ground and upper so that you can recognize it later when you want to modify that the second joint we want to create is the revolute joint between the upper body and the body so that the body can rotate along the X axis and also we are going to use the two bodies one location construction and also the pick geometry feature so the first body we pick is the body part and second is the upper body and the location we choose is still this marker 11 and uh, the direction vector this time we choose is the the x-axis and uh, as you can see that's how the second revolute joint is created also let's rename the joint to as the body with upper body okay the third uh, joint the third and the fourth joint we need to create is the joint between the legs and the bottom of the body so and we will use the spherical joint to connect those parts and uh, let's select the first body it's the uh, left leg and the second body is the bottom body part and uh, the location we will pick the left leg marker 16. Now let's rename this joint 3 as the left leg and the body. Okay. For the same way, we will create the spherical joint between the right leg and the body. So we will first pick the right leg and then the body. And then we choose the marker on the right leg. It's marker 17. And that's how the two spherical joints between the legs and the body are created. So we rename that as the right leg and the body. Okay, and that's how all the connectors are created. Okay, now let's add a motion to this model. And, uh, let's go to the motions tab and uh, we will apply the joint motion to one of the joint between the ground and the upper body. Now we will select the joint between the ground and the upper body. Click OK. Uh, in the motions um, category under the model tree, you can see we created the motion. It's named the motion one, and we will modify that motion. You can see um, if you click this function builder, you can actually input any function you want. And in this case, we will input a periodic function.
OK. And we click OK. And that's how the motion, the joint motion is applied. Let's rename this motion as uh, the upper and the ground. Using the same method, we also want to create a joint motion for the body and upper joint, uh, revolute joint. So also we will choose the joint motion, revolute joint motion, and then when you point to this um, close to the joint, you right click and then you can select um, the joint you want to choose. In this case, we want to choose the body and upper. And, uh, let's modify this. Okay, let's click Function Builder. And uh, we also want to input a periodic motion in this case. Click OK, click OK. Okay, then we rename this motion as um, body and uh, upper motion. Now when you click on this motion, you can see the red icon with a uh, revolute motion is created. So that would end this video and in the next video we will be showing you how to run the simulation and how to view the results in the post processor and also after that we will be applying the contacts between different bodies to make it more realistic.